time around we've got a computer monitor at Old One. The brand of it is BMC and the model number is BM-4040P. It's a 14 inch colour monitor and right now it's connected to a Commodore 64. It's basically hooked up via S-Video. Technically it's probably not S-Video because the colour line uses a little bit higher voltage so technically it's not S video by specification but purposefully it is actually really S video anyway. So we'll have a bit of a closer look. I don't know what year it is, I haven't opened it yet. I haven't looked inside to see what tube there is. Um, we've got an old style Commodore 64 here and I've got in the cartridge port the 1541 Ultimate 2 flash cartridge with an SD card and it's basically got most ROMs it's got a lot of the software that the C64 had so there's the brand name and its logo and on the front there is two rotary knobs one for brightness and the other one there is turn on volume so you turn on turn it on um, turn it anti-clockwise and that turns it off and the red light turns off and then obviously you turn it the other way give it a click and the more you turn it clockwise the louder the volume will get it's got a brand bezel on it there's the joystick I'm using right there for the Commodore 64 I think it works on the Amiga well it works on probably all those 9 pin D joystick sockets as you see uh, there's a bit more of the monitor the side of it cream beige sort of color and there on the back a color display model number 240 volt serial number power cords built in and then for your connections I'll pull out what's already in there so we get a clearer look so what you've got is you've got there's there's basically two sets of inputs there on the right side here so starting from the yellow that's basically your S video assortment. Um, it does say there Luma above that yellow, and there it says Chroma, and that's sound in that's associated with these two. So that's one set of inputs, and then you've got composite video and the audio for the composite video there, and there's a switch to flick from S video to composite, and then for monitor controlling properties, you've got the hold you can adjust that to shift the picture vertically just a little bit and then if you go any further it'll start to roll like it does the v-hole color adjustment contrast adjustment and horizontal position so that's all your controllability so now i will undo it and we'll have a look inside okay so the back shell's off the monitor is very clean inside there's no dust on the tube or the chassis a little bit of grime on the back on the plastic there but very clean overall and as far as the tube brands concerned i don't know what it is there's no brand certainly no prominent branding on it so i take it it's just a cheapie there's a couple of pots in there to control things uh, vertical size vertical linearity uh, pin cushion by the look of it well, there's another I think H hold over there. And there's even sub contrast and sub color in there. So you get a few things to play with, that's handy. Alright, we'll go back around the front. So I'll turn the Commodore on and the cartridge in the back, the flash cartridge, takes over and boots. It's got several switches on its back to help navigate around with it. I can go to the SD card in it. Go to the letter H for example, HE, and I'll boot head over heels. That was a good game we played back in the day. Didn't stay on the blue Commodore screen for long. That's what most people are probably familiar with that blue Commodore boot up screen. Couldn't find much on this brand, BMC. I found another model for sale on eBay in America, but I didn't find any, anything on this particular model. Uh, I didn't find anything really at all. I should have searched a little bit harder. Maybe one of those resource sites you find with Commodore monitors may have a mention of the BMC monitor, but 
as it is I didn't pour a great deal of effort into it now I just want this game to, to start come on there we go so basically I think that this monitor is just a it would have been probably a cheaper third-party option for uh, Commodore 64 owners don't know if it would have worked on any other computers like the Apple II, probably not, but... I'd probably still stick with the Commodore branded monitor. At least they've got brand name tubes inside them. I mean, this works fine. It looks a little bit different from what I remember the stock Commodore monitors looking. But it's... Jeez, I don't know what's going on here. Can't get up there. Oh. I'll give that up. Anyway, it was just a quick video. Just one for the record books, I suppose. Just to get this mention of this BMC up there. Um, I don't think you'd be able to run anything in TSC on it. Like, it's got that composite input, but I doubt it'll have NTSC playback, so you'll only be able to use your PAL machines. Probably best to just for Commodore 64, maybe 128. Um, but pretty limited in its use. Anyway, that's another one down, and stay tuned for more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye.